Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick video about an interesting subject. I get uh, asked from time to time, I'm running an old computer and it's going either to have, um, you know, of course like when Windows 7 be outdated eventually next year or I'm already running Windows Vista, Windows XP because of this or that reason and the question is is it secure what could I do to make sure that I stay safe so here's the thing running an outdated operating system whatever version it is because even Windows 10 has outdated versions if you're on the fall creators update or before you are an outdated version of Windows 10 um, there are always risks but the risks depend on what you do and here's the thing. First of all, the risks for an operating system that is outdated are online. If you go on the internet with it, that's where problems can arise. And they can be really bad because as the operating system isn't supported and ages, more and more security flaws are discovered. And more and more you have an easy target if you actually um, use it on the internet because the security flaws can a lot of them can be easily exploited just by being online and visiting a website for example that would have malicious uh, code in it so it's as easy as just visiting a page on the internet it could be even worse but Firewalls on our routers often protect us from a lot of the problems that could be there. So the first thing I would say is, if you are using a Windows XP machine, for example, uh, somebody, great example is uh, one of the comments I had was, I use it only to play games that aren't compatible with newer machines that I have. And it's not on the internet, but is it safe? And you know what? the, the, the simple answer is if the only thing you do is play those games don't really connect you know USB thumb drives to it don't and and aren't on the internet it's okay you can use that machine forever as long as it works and it works with the games that you have not being connected is probably the best thing an older operating system um, will need to stay safe so if you disconnect from the internet a machine that is using an older operating system you're okay the danger could come in the form of you know a usb thumb drive that you might be plugging in that could have some malware and stuff like that um, that could be a problem but if you restrain yourself you just use the software on it you know maybe uh, i've seen this in businesses sometimes it's just controlling uh you know a machine for example well, if you're not connected to the web, you're pretty safe. And that's because that's where everything bad that can happen will happen if it has to happen. The uh, other question I get all the time is, well, if I continue using an operating system that's outdated and am connected to the internet, is there some ways that I can really be careful? Well, the thing is you will have an operating system that has security flaws that will be known by bad guys you might well as time will go by you'll be more and more um, vulnerable to attacks because more and more flaws will be open or be in your operating system you can mitigate that by using the latest browsers as long as they are supported for example when Windows 7 is going to be um, you know the end of support is going to happen in January Google Chrome will probably continue existing in its latest versions for a little while after that that means if you have the latest version of the Chrome browser you are mitigating the problems because there's some form of security coming from the browser itself that is updated but still you are connected to the web and that is a danger and that danger will increase over time so it's not recommended 
but um, if you want to use the operating system offline it's okay you can use you know you could use an old Windows 95 machine for some reason and it's not connected to the web or anything it should be pretty safe even there's uh, even a good thing of very old systems like Windows 95 for example and even Windows XP to a certain extent is that the code that is run to infect machines today is most of the time totally incompatible with the old operating system so you might have a virus that could infect Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8 and that virus can be totally unable to infect Windows XP because the code can't execute in that old system so there's kind of a, a good side to that uh, sometimes especially a very very old system like Windows 95 you know probably there's probably a, almost no viruses that would be able to infect Windows 95 from the modern age today because they just can't run in there and um, so you know uh, it's it's delicate situation when you run a uh, operating system that's not supported anymore but if it's offline and you limit the interactions of connecting you know hard drives and USB thumb drives because they could be a vector of infection but if you're offline you're pretty safe in general it's always the question of being online or not so I hope this answers the question that some of you might have if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.